हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो सेशन ऑफ फार्मास्यूटिकल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री वन प्रैक्टिकल्स नाउ इन टूडेज प्रैक्टिकल सेशन वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग इनफैक्ट वी विल बी डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ मोलिकुलर मॉडल्स ओके सो वी आर स्टडिंग द प्रैक्टिकल्स ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड वी हैव टू डील विथ वेरियस ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स and we have seen in the theory there are millions of organic compounds which are present in the nature and we need to understand the chemistry of these compounds okay now in today's experiment the aim of experiment is to construct the molecular models of organic compounds so here we will be taking some simple organic compounds and we will be demonstrating how we can visualize them how we can construct them in three dimension okay so we have molecular model kit and using this kit which is referred as a ball and stick model using these kit we can construct the model and we can visualize we can understand the chemistry of uh, the organic compounds so uh, when we see the historical perspective of uh, these uh, molecular models uh, in the earlier days it was believed that the molecular uh or the molecules especially the organic or inorganic compounds they does not exist in three dimension but in the year 1874 j h vanshoff he was the first person who suggested that the molecules have 3d structure and there onwards the uh, discovery uh, actually uh, begins and in the year 1952 Corey and Pauling they introduced the concept of 3D models okay so after introducing this concept in the year 1952 uh, by the Corey and Pauling then this concept was taken up by the Colton and in the year 1965 he came up with the improved version of such 3D models for the organic compounds and he uh, patented those and thereafter there are uh, several types of kits which are available in the market ranging from few thousands to even lakhs and using these kits now we are able to construct the models and we are able to understand the chemistry involved in these organic compounds so such models actually they have developed cpk color codes okay so this cpk color code this cpk comes from the initials of these scientists okay so there are three scientists who have contributed for this so core pauling and uh, the colton so these are the initials which are used uh, to refer this as cpk color codes and these color codes are uh, set for particular type of atom so throughout the world we follow these color codes which are referred as cpk color codes and we maintain uh, whenever we construct the model okay so it, it will be uniform like what we have followed for naming the organic compounds by the iupac system right so similarly so here you can see for carbon usually we use a gray color then for indicating the hydrogen atom we indicate uh, we use the white color then similarly for indicating the oxygen the red color is used then for nitrogen blue color is used and for indicating sulfur the deep yellow color is used okay then phosphorus have the orange color even uh, the carbon sometimes uh, referred with the black color okay and the halogen atoms like fluorine chlorine bromine and iodine they have a specific colors okay so this is a cpk atom color coding system which is followed uh, throughout the world for constructing the models so this is about the historical perspective now we need to understand why this uh, construction of molecular models is there in your syllabus okay so there are several uh, reasons behind it and there is some rational because uh, you know when we draw the structure uh, on the board or even when you write it on the paper we cannot visualize these molecules in 3d okay so at the most what we can do we can put the wedge line and dotted line and we can assume or we can imagine these atoms or the structures which are in 3d okay 
so uh, we put a dotted line to indicate a particular atom is going behind the plane or we put a thick line to indicate the particular atom is coming towards you right so uh, we imagine through that but it will be uh, very easy to understand when you construct these models and then models you can easily understand like a particular bond is uh, going behind the plane or it is coming towards you and so on okay so understanding the basic concepts of chemistry will be made very easy when you construct these models then analyzing the molecules in 3d that is the stereochemistry of the organic compounds which is again crucial and we will be discussing a lot in the coming uh, semesters okay so analyzing 3d molecules or molecules in the three dimension will be made easy by using these models then you can also understand the hybridization state whether a particular atom is in sp3 or sp2 or sp hybridization state okay and then by constructing the models you can also visualize the geometry of the molecule what what angle they are making and in what shape they are present okay and then as i mentioned you can also understand the stereochemistry and uh, uh, you can also understand the isomerism which is present in the organic compound so we have discussed uh, the structural isomers in the theory classes so you can visualize the geometrical isomer or the constitutional isomers all these isomers can very easily understood when you construct the models and when actually uh, you visualize them in the three dimension so this is the basic idea and intention behind uh, constructing the organic models and this is all about uh, this practical okay so now we'll see the organic models and uh, we will see how we can construct them and how we can utilize them to visualize in three dimension okay students so here is the kit and now we are going to construct the models for organic compounds okay so before that let me introduce the atoms so here in this green color what we can see this is the halogen atom okay so you can see the halogen atoms are monovalent or univalent so you can see there is a one group present on this particular ball okay so this is referred as ball and stick because the atoms are considered as ball and sticks are nothing but the uh, bonds which are connecting the atoms okay so this is referred as the connector or the linker which is connecting the two or more than two atoms together then this is the another ball of orange color and this is uh, bigger in size so this is for again monovalent atom so this represents the sodium atom okay or the sodium metal so now in today's session our aim is to construct the organic models so we will not be taking the orange ball because this is with respect to the inorganic compounds then next is the carbon atom okay now you know we have studied alkane alkenes and alkynes and we know what is a sp3 sp2 and sp hybridization so here if you see this uh, black color ball so there are four grooves one two three and on the opposite side there is a fourth one okay so these are almost uh, far away from each other okay so this is a very peculiar arrangement and this is for the alkane type of uh, molecules okay so this is one type of uh, carbon atom then another we have again in black color so black color indicates the carbon and here you can see there are two grooves which are very adjacent to each other and another two grooves which are away from these two so this is uh, especially for the alkene type of uh, molecule okay so this is again a carbon and then we have one more type of uh, black ball in this case if you observe the three grooves are very close to each other and the fourth one is totally far away from these three okay so this is for alkyne okay there is a carbon carbon triple bond or two atoms are connected to each other with the triple bond okay 
So, this black color indicates the carbon, then this is the hydrogen atom. So, as per the uh, color code system, the hydrogen atoms are represented with the white color balls. Then we have a small balls and you can see in these small balls, there are two grooves which are very close to each other, very adjacent to each other. So, this is especially used for the compounds in which the oxygen is in the form of carbonyl group, okay, C double bond O. So, the oxygen is doubly bonded to carbon. So, in such case, we can use this one and then there is a one more type of oxygen you can see in this, there is a one groove here and the other groove is little away from here, okay. So, this we can use it when we are going to construct the oxygen, especially the alcoholic atoms, right, the alcohol, ethanol, methanol like that. Then we have another yellow color bigger ball. Now, in this case, here you can see how many grooves, two grooves are here and two more are here, okay. So, this is a tetravalent uh, atom. So, tetravalent you can know sulfur will have the valency of 2, 4 and 6. So, you can represent the sulfur atom by taking this uh, ball. Then similarly, we have the another ball. Here you can see, let me check. Yeah. So, here you can see there are 2 plus 2, 4, then 5 and 6. Okay. So, this is a hexavalent. So, this also you can use it for sulfur and then there is a divalent sulfur also. Okay. So, here this is a divalent sulfur atom. So, divalent then uh, tetravalent and hexavalent. So, this uh, you can use it for sulfur. You know the valency of sulfur it could be 2, 4 or 6. Then these blue colored balls which are small in size this has 1, 2 and 3. So, this indicates the nitrogen. You know the valency of the nitrogen is 3 and you can attach 3 different atoms to this particular nitrogen atom. Okay. Then similarly, we have a small size orange balls okay. and again in this case, there are 2 grooves. So, this is a divalent or the bivalent atom. So, this is again useful for the uh, ions or metal atoms which are bivalent for example calcium okay so you can connect the two different atoms or similar atoms to this calcium like calcium chloride okay so you can have the inorganic compounds now i hope you understood uh, the different types of balls and atoms and now uh, it's time to start with the actual construct construction of models okay so for our ease of understanding I have drawn the structures of some simple organic molecules on the paper. So, here whatever I have represented for example, CH4 that is methane. Okay. So, this is in two dimension. Okay. We can represent the structure in the two dimension. Right. Now, we can construct the model for this methane. So, there is a carbon. Okay, so, I will be taking carbon and this is uh, what kind of hybridization in alkane we have studied. Alkane have sp3 hybridized carbon. Okay, so, I will attach now 4 hydrogen atoms to this alkane. So, 1 hydrogen, then second hydrogen, then third and fourth. Okay, now, this is what? This is CH4 that is the methane. Okay. Now, if you carefully observe this methane, if I uh, put it here, I can see if I am observing this in three dimension, let us say uh, I am uh, visualizing this molecule from this side. So, you can see this atom and this atom. Okay. This atom and this atom is in the plane, whereas this hydrogen is going behind the plane. This is going away from me and this is coming towards me. Okay. So, this is your wedge line and this is your dotted line because this is going behind the plane 
this is coming towards you ok and the carbon and these two hydrogens are in the plane ok. So, if you connect these different atoms together what shape you can have you will have a tetragonal geometry and if you measure the angle we have studied in sp3 hybridized molecule the angle which is made between the atoms is 109.5 degree ok. So, if you measure this angle either from this uh, in between this to this or from this bond to this uh, this atom to this atom or in between these in all uh, ways the bond angle which is formed between the carbon and this ok this bond angle is always 109.5 degree. So, this is with respect to the CH4 then we will prepare the alkene ok. So, we have taken a simple alkene. So, there are two carbon atoms right. So, in alkene we require minimum two carbon atoms and these are doubly bonded to each other ok. So, here we will take the carbon atom in which there are two grooves which are adjacent to each other and then we will attach the linker ok. So, this is a linker and then we require one more carbon and then we can connect this. So, I have connected here and here right. So, this is how we can represent the double bond and then what is remaining this hydrogen this hydrogen I can attach here and one more I can attach here. Similarly, you can have another two hydrogen atoms one you can attach on this side and one more you can attach on this side ok. So, this is how exactly we can show the alkene structure ok. I will remove the paper so that you can easily visualize here ok. Now, you know in case of alkene ok in case of alkene. So, this is referred as the pi bond ok this is referred as the pi bond and you can see the geometry of alkene this is a trigonal ok. So, if you see if you connect this atom and this atom with this carbon. So, this is forming trigonal geometry like here also you can see these three atoms if you connect then this is also forming a trigonal geometry ok. And in this case the bond angle between the atoms ok. So, if you see the bond angle between this and this this is exactly 120 degree even if you see the bond angle from here to here this is also 120 degree ok. So, this is with respect to the alkene. Then we will prepare the alkyne. Now, in case of alkyne there is a triple bond and even for alkyne we require two carbon atoms ok. So, I am taking the carbon in such a way that there are grooves which are very close to each other and then I need three linkers here ok. So, we can connect the carbon ok. So, let us say here I am connecting one then two and then one more ok. So, this is the triple bond and now you have to connect this here like this ok alright ok. So, this is how we can represent the triple bond ok. I will remove the paper and then what is remaining you know the valency of the carbon is 4. So, we have uh, three bonds here on this carbon then I can attach one hydrogen here this is not fixing well. So, we will attach new one and one more here like this ok. So, now you can see this is a uh, this is what ethyne right. So, this is ethyne two carbon atoms bonded triple E and then two hydrogen atoms and if you see the geometry of this molecule what is the geometry it looks like planar ok. So, this is a planar geometry and if you measure the bond angle the bond angle is exactly 180 degree ok. So, this is how we can represent these three molecules. So, I will place it here so that you can easily visualize them ok. So, this is CH4 then we have this C2H4 and then C2H2 ok. Methane that is alkane 
then alkene and alkyne. This is sp3 hybridized, this is sp2 hybridized and this is sp hybridized, okay. Then we will go for next. Now in the next what we can prepare? We can prepare a simple and very important molecule that is water. So water is nothing but H2O. So we can take the oxygen atom. So here I have to take the oxygen atom in which the two groups are far away from each other, okay. So you can attach one hydrogen here and you can attach another hydrogen here, okay. So this is the H2O, okay. So you can visualize here, I will put it here. So this is our H2O, then CO2, okay. So CO2 you can make, so CO2 how you can prepare, so you can attach the two oxygens here. And here, like this, and then just wait. Okay, so I am attaching another one. And here. Okay. okay, so you can see we have prepared the CO2. So this is a carbon and there are two oxygens. So this is CO2. Then can we prepare ethanol CH3, CH2, OH? Okay. So what we require? We require the hydrogen atoms. So let us attach, sorry, three hydrogen atoms here like this. Then we need one linker here, right. Then we require one more carbon like this. Then attach two hydrogens here, one and two. And then we require one more linker and then oxygen and then hydrogen, okay. So this is how we can prepare CH3, CH2 and OH, okay. So you can see the molecule in three dimension will be actually rotating, okay. So this is ethanol, okay. Then we have another molecule, this is what? CH3, C double bond O, CH3. So this is acetone, okay. This is acetone. So we can have the acetone like this. So I will attach two linkers. I have to take the carbon atom which have the grooves closer to each other and then I can attach the oxygen, okay. So sp2 hybridized we have to take and yeah, I will attach another linker. This is quite short, okay. Let us try this, okay. Yeah, okay. So this is C double bond O and then we can attach CH3, right. So what we need, we need two linkers here, one linker I have attached here, then one more on this side, the valency of the carbon is complete and then I have to attach two carbons of sp3 hybridized, right. So one here, then one more here, like this, okay. So you can see now what we have prepared, this is this one, okay. CH3, 
so this is CH3, C double bond O and CH3 like this you can see and now you can uh, visualize this compound in three dimension. You can rotate the molecule and then you can see how the atoms are arranged in reality in the molecule. Okay. So, these are the compounds, four compounds what we have prepared, water, carbon dioxide, ethanol and acetone. Okay. All right. Now, we will see the other compounds. So, next is CH3 O CH3. Okay. So, what is this? This is a dimethyl ether, right? It is dimethyl ether. So, so I will take this methane. So, this is CH3. Then we will attach one linker here. So, this oxygen I have taken and then you should have one more linker, all right, then carbon and then hydrogen atoms, one here, another here and one more here, okay. Now, you can see this is what, this is uh, methoxymethane or we refer it as uh, the common name that is dimethyl ether, okay. So, this connector uh, you have to use it properly, okay. So, this is uh, dimethyl ether. Similarly, you can prepare the CH3 O CH2 CH3, okay. So, what you have to do? You have to remove this and then you have to attach one linker here, then you have to attach one more carbon, okay, and then there will be two hydrogens atoms, two hydrogen atoms we have to attach like this, then one more here. So, this will be CH2 and then this one, okay. So, now you can see what we have prepared that is methoxyethane, okay, methoxyethane. So, this is a CH3 O CH2 and again there will be CH3, okay. Now, you can visualize here, okay. So, this is how we can see the molecule in the three dimension. I hope you have liked this video. So, thank you for watching. Take care.